Hello, this will be the week, monthly reading, sorry, monthly reading for June 2016 for the sign of Aries, Moon, Sun, and Rising sign. And um, I'm sorry for the lighting. It's a little late in the day as I'm recording this, so I apologize. It's a little hard to see the cards. I'll make sure to zoom in on them. So for the first week of June for Aries, we have the energy of 32 door to spirit. So the beginning of this week, um, it's going to be heavy communication with spirit. Um, you're going to receive some profound guidance or information this first week. The energies, um, it's, it's very strong energies I'm getting like in regards to some sort of situation with others or in a sp specific connection or relationship with a person it does not have to be romantic it could be a friendship it could be um a family member but in relation to this other person this other party it's like some guidance will be received it could also be like friendships like your communication with a friend will be, bring up some sort of spiritual guidance that you needed to hear and it's like spirit will speak through them and it's also like an ancestor or a past loved one or a spiritual guide is going to speak through that person for you because it's like the only way that you'll understand the message or yet you'll get it is the energy that I feel for the first week. So pay attention to your conversations with others because spirit is speaking through them for you to hear a message. Okay. And it's going to be a sound message, meaning it's going to be very peaceful, very loving, very understood. It's not going to come across as harsh or anything like that. So any additional information, we have 40 co-create. So we have the owl in the background, so it's like some wisdom, that spark of inspiration. Um, because of this conversation, I feel like it's going to spark something for you. Um, number 40. 40 is all about um, the vibrations of balance. Also the number of the archangel, um, 44. So 40 comes to mind. Um, number four is what I'm getting. So it's, it's kind of like this energy is going to stabilize you, and it's going to... It's going to give you a spark of insp um, sorry, inspiration to um, start moving forward with your life and start creating something. It doesn't necessarily have to be a project or something like that. It could just be creating a new perspective or um, it, it's like this is a change in the like a change, of course, in your life, if that makes sense. It, and it has something to do with that um, conversation you had with that person it sparks some type of wisdom within you and it's like you can move forward now and you're co-creating with spirit it's like a change that's happening behind the scenes okay so the energies for the second half of the month we have 38 with Archangel Raphael the fourth chakra so um, you're open-hearted right now um, in that week, it's like you're more balanced in in the areas of of um, your connections with others. I feel like also the double meaning of um, the door to spirit, that person that that spirit used as a vessel to speak through them for you. It's also a very intimate connection. It's bringing some sort of stability with that person, or how you connect with others it's bringing stability in that area and your heart is very much open um it's almost like healing because archangel Raphael is the angel of healing and of love and relationships um it's like they're he's also too helping you heal and that other person sparked that for you it's like a change occurring. It's like I, I get like a shift occurring because of this conversation that you had with this other person. It was something that was meant to happen. Um, that number three, um, 33 or 38 is a number of ascendants, um, spiritual guides, the Holy Trinity. So it's like this is a collective thing. This is spirit working with you, also working with others. Um, and it's a balance and a harmony really is what the focus is. So the additional meaning to this, we have no peace. 
or no place, I'm sorry, no place like home 50. So like I said, there's a shift happening in regards to your connections with others. Five is the number of divine life changes or some sort of divine shift happening or occurring. So it has something to do with your family, your loved ones, friendships, like the people that are loving, that are a part of you is your home. That's or Also, this could be your home, your family, your husband, your wife, um, your children. It's like a peace and a harmony occurring. Your heart is more open. You're more receptive to love. And the house is like in the sky. It's like you feel this high because of your connection with with the other, with others now, if that makes sense. Okay, so the third half of the month, we have 16 patients. Okay, so this is a new beginning for you. This is a new sense of harmony that you're embarking on. So it's going to take some patience. Not everything is going to happen at once. So I feel like this could be... It was maybe some discord with a friend. I keep hearing friend. And it could be a loved one who's very close to you, like a friend. And there may have been some um, disagreements in the past with this person. But because of the conversation that you both had, your family member, remember I said a family member or a, a spiritual guide or... An ancestor is speaking through that person it's because they're trying to mend the relationship with you and that person because they too are a part of that person's life that's why they're able to communicate with them or through them so this may be a family member um, patience that everything is not going to happen overnight the situation is not going to heal overnight and to give it divine timing, that timing is on your side and not to turn cold because I feel like your energy, maybe there's still some things that need to be work out, worked out with you and your family or family member or friend. There may be some things that still need to be worked out. So have patience and don't turn cold just yet because things are still healing. The additional message is 37 never ending story. So this person is stressed out almost like they're they're tired and again number three and seven they're both of some higher spiritual guide or ancestor the divine and that divine timing comes up again so spirit is saying not to turn cold just yet don't go back to it's always going to be the same situation with this person it's a never-ending story with this person or this situation it always is like this give it time because the situation is healing and spirit is in charge of this okay in the final week of the month we have 19 rest and rejuvenation so give yourself some time to find some peace go within yourself take some time apart from this person um don't allow the situation to overwhelm you because there's a new beginning there's also an ending happening at the same time that's why you feel a major shift of energy and it's going to be overwhelming for you maybe a little bit challenging because things did you know turn out good and your perception changed a little bit and then it may be some things that still come up because the situation is still in the process of healing. So just allow yourself this time to go within, to rest, find peace, and not get too, too caught up in outer appearances because things are being worked out. Okay, so the additional message for that, we have between worlds, number three. So spirit is working on, on, the, on your out what you see on the outside so that's why they're saying not to get caught up in what you're seeing right now because there's things happening beyond behind the scenes that you can't see so it's between worlds this flamingo is here on earth and it's like another um aspect so it's spiritual and physical number three is again of number of ascended masters or some sort of spiritual guide holy trinity so again there's things working behind the scenes that you're not aware of that you can't see physically so they're telling you not to get caught up on physical appearances or what you're seeing in the physical. All right, so I pulled an additional card for singles and coupled up energy, soulmates, twin flames, divine partners. What message is it for the Aries? And we have the four of coins. Okay, the four of coins is, um, this is about 
it could be about financial contentment. It could also be a, a person who's stingy with their materials or their finances. Or this could be someone that's pretty stable and comfortable in their material um, their material relations. Or um, this is just someone who's very content. So in a relationship, um, there's a person in the back who's pretty much a shadow. So it's like there's a person watching you. I get a sense that there's someone watching you from afar, um, and it and it, to them it appears that you're doing fine without them, and maybe in reality you're not so good without them, or maybe this is the energy that you're portraying that you're fine without them, that you're doing good without them, that you're happy without them, but on the inside you're lonely because you're you're holding on to all of these possessions, but really on the inside you're missing that person or you're missing love in your life. And there may be other partners. If you're single, there may be people, suitable people out there that's watching you, that sees you as someone valuable. And it's like, you know, you don't have the time or day because you're so caught up in your work or you're so caught up in your own self or the way you're living that you don't have time to invite someone into your life. So you want to be careful of that type of energy. So that's um, the message that I'm getting. I thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope that this resonates. I send you lots of love and blessings. Bye-bye.